Welcome to Depression to Expression. In this video, we're going to talk about five ways to treat anxiety. Does that sound good? So before I get into these five things, I want a little confirmation from you. Okay? There's nothing to sign. I just want you to nod your head and say yes. Please nod your head and please continue watching if you promise to try these five things and not just once. Because what I get all the time on the channel and when you talk to people, you talk to people at work, you talk to your friends, your family. Let's, t let's say meditation for an example. They try it once, they try it twice, and they say it doesn't work. Come on. I need you to promise me that when I talk about these five things, you're going to try each of them and do it more than one time. Please. Please. If you're not willing to try new things and you're not willing to, you know, put some time into something to see if it actually works, then I guarantee you that you'll be stuck with anxiety for the rest of your life. You have to put in the time. It may be painful, challenging, extremely uncomfortable. That's the way it's got to be done. There's no easy out. I've said that before. There's no easy way. So let's talk about these five treatments. And you're going to do each of them at least once. Number one is yoga. Yoga. Breathing exercises, especially if you've ever tried hot yoga before, where staying in the moment is extremely crucial or else you're going to faint from the heat and the sweat and the, the lack of water you have in your body. You really have to keep yourself balanced, doing tree poses. Yoga is amazing for reducing your anxiety system, symptoms because you are focused on the breath and the instructors are so great and they continually remind you and walk you through different poses. Remember to stay with the breath. They walk you through every single movement. And while you're transitioning pose to pose, you don't really have time to think about what if, what if, what if, or think about something that's going to happen a week from now, a month from now. You may, but if you're really in the zone, and again, this is why you have to try yoga more than once. When you're really in that yoga zone, you really stay in the moment. And that's what yoga practice is all about. Living with what is, living in the moment, and really taking care of your body. Cool? So that's number one. Number two is meditation. As I just said, a lot of people only meditate once and say it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I was thinking the whole time, how does that even do anything? Hey, yo. Meditation works. It's proven to work, but it takes more than one time. It takes more than two times. I think it takes more than a hundred times. It really does. People meditate for years and years and they still have thoughts going through their head and they still get anxious. But meditation is meant just like yoga. Yoga is more being within the body and same as meditation, but meditation takes it to a new level in the mind as you're sitting still. Again, you can focus on the breath, but when thoughts come in, meditation is about non-judgment. It's that whole Zen jazz. It's about non-judgment. It's about thoughts coming in and thoughts going out and not looking into that thought, seeing what it is and what you can do about it and what it means. You let the thoughts come, you let the thoughts go. Very Zen-like. That's meditation for you. It's also about living with what is, but in a non-judgy way. It's very cool. So please, meditation, I've done meditation videos. They're all on the channel. Please feel free to, um, to follow along with some of them. They're, they're very short. There's tons of guided meditation resources on YouTube, on the internet. There is no lack of resources. And just with anxiety treatments, there's no lack of treatments. I'm just talking about five here. There are so many different things you can do. So many. You could spend your whole lifetime trying to beat anxiety and you still haven't tried everything. These are the top five for me. 
So one yoga, two meditation, three. We're getting a little um, a little doctory now, but cognitive behavioral therapy. Now I know it sounds scary. I know it does. But again, what I talk about on the channel, this is what a lot of psychologists talk about in therapy sessions. Same as the worksheets I've done on the channel as well, the cognitive behavioral therapy worksheets. They use some of those. What's great about CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, once again, is you're in a session, you're on a one-on-one, -on -one, you can explain to this professional where it is his or her job to help you. It's their job. You're paying them money. They'll become very involved. They want to help you. I know it's scary seeing someone. There's videos on that as well. But as far as a treatment, CBT is proven again to work. The gold standard, the gold standard for beating anxiety, and especially if you've been in the pit of depression as well, or you suffer from chronic anxiety and it's extremely bad, the gold standard is medication with some CBT, baby. That's the, that's the diet of treatment. And that brings me to number four, which is medication. Medication's amazing. Most will disagree. Nobody likes taking medication, but it works for some people. May not work for you. May not work for a friend you have. So then you're online and all on the forums preaching, don't take it. It made my friend think he was a he was a tiger and he went around like chasing bunnies. Everyone's experiences are their own. There's always those totally out of line stories that you hear about medications. And then there's the other stories that are like this medication saved my life, like my story. So again, see what works for you. Talk to your doctor. That's all I'm going to say about medication. It works for millions of people. And that combined with CBT does wonders. All right. Number five is what is number five? Did I have them written down? Yeah. You know, yo, yeah. Nah. I was going to say PMR, progressive muscle relaxation. I did a video on that before. Um, it's when you tense up all your muscles and then you relax and you do it one by one and there's guided audios and everything. That's cool. So that can be number five. Let's make number five a little splitty split. Number five, I also want to mention um, the natural cure kind of thing because a lot of people do not agree with pharmaceuticals and that's cool. That's cool. Um, but there are studies about omega-3s, there are. And that is the most, the most studied uh, natural cure. Okay, so I take omega-3s. I feel it makes a difference. Maybe it's just placebo. I don't know, but I continue to take them. It's not hurting me in any way. If anything, it's making me better, even if I'm just fooling myself. So check out the video as well uh, that I have on omega-3s. Maybe I'll put the links, maybe I won't, depends how lazy I am when editing this. So that's the five things. I know there are a million more. There are a million ways to treat anxiety. Millions. This is only five, six, five and a half. So if you have any ways to treat anxiety and you want to share them with the world, you can leave them in the comments or you can send me an email and I can post what you write to me on depressiontoexpression.com as a post, as a blog post. Because I'm full of ideas, I, I do my research, I have my own stuff as well, but your ideas are just as good. And remember, that's what this channel is all about. Sharing is caring. All right? Those are the five ways to treat anxiety. Plenty more for the five I mentioned. Please try them. You made the promise. If you made it this far, you made the promise and you will not break your promises to me. Try it at least once. No, at least twice. Three times. Especially the meditation. Please do it. Take care. Namaste. Share the video, please. Have a great day.